So glad you could join me today for this tutorial. It's a look that I really enjoy doing when I want to feel like my eyes are really popping and standing out. It has a beautiful soft subtleness on the top and a nice intense smolder underneath. And I think that it's a great look for anybody that really wants to make sure that their eyes are being emphasized and that they're bringing one of their best features forward. So if you'd like to see how I did this look, just stay tuned. Okay, so I've already put my primer on and gotten a good one color base across the eye so that there's no discolorations because you want all the colors to be as true as possible for this look. Now the first thing that we're going to do is build some of the intensity under the eye first. And I know traditionally you don't work under the eye first, but for this look it works best that way. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and take this color right here off the palette with our detail brush, smudger brush, whatever you would like to call it. Now you're going to start right here in the corner and you're going to come over. You're going to build that intensity on the outside and we're going to keep coming over and you want it to be pretty true when you're coming over until you get about three-fourths of the way over and then just use what's left on the brush to come in. You're actually going to take this all the way over to the very corner of the eye. But it's just not quite as intense on the outside. You want to get a good smudge line going under your eye. Now we're going to go to a large um, shadow brush and we're going to use the next to top color here on the palette. You're going to pat that all over your lid. You're going to come all the way up into the crease with this color. And you want to keep doing that until you get a good uniform color that has a really strong base to it. And if you notice, I'm not coming out past the eye with this color. I'm just coming right up. I'm also making sure that I come up to leave a space on the inner part of the eye too. And we have a nice color base now. So now what I'm going to do is take a big fluffy crease brush and I'm going to take this top color and we're going to go all across and just over the top of what we just did. Make sure you get the inner corner and just under the eye. Do it a little bit darker than normally you would because we're going to go back over and blend the two colors together. Once you've blended everything together with the light color, then you're going to go back to that same lid color and blend the crease. This is going to tone down the highlight you just did, give it the same kind of nice pinky hue, and intensify that crease. Concentrate blending over here on the corner that's going to help intensify the side of the eye. Alright, now that we have built this eye and gotten the intensity we want with the highlight and the lid color, we're going to focus back on the bottom of the eye again. What we're going to do is we're going to take this bottom shade and we're going to work the outer corner of the eye in just slightly up. 
So we want just like a brush width on the outer corner. You want to focus that on the outer part of the eye so that you keep the darkest color outside. Once you've done that, get a little bit more and just along the lash line, about halfway in, you're going to smudge right along your lash line. If you look, you want to keep it as close to your lashes as you possibly can and just smudge a little bit of that darkness in and connect it to that little you have out there. The important part with this is that you keep it very close to the lash line so that it's not creeping up onto the lid. And that just builds the outer part of your lashes and bottom of your eye. Now we're going to go back to that first color we used and go back over it again on the bottom. We're just pulling the color around to smudge it out. Now that we are done with that part, we're going to make sure our fluffy brush is nice and clean and then we're just going to buff out that outer line so there's no harsh edge. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and take our black eyeliner and we're going to do the upper and lower water lines with it. If you need to pull your eyelid up, you definitely can. The next step is going to be to use a good plummy purpley eyeliner to do the top lash line. You don't want to put black up there because you want all of the intensity to be on your lower lashes for this look. You're going to go into the inner corner. and across the lash line. Now it's going to kind of fade away when you hit that dark color on the outer corner. But you'll be able to see it where you didn't put that dark shadow. And since purple is a complementary color, it will just look like part of the eye look and not exactly like a liner like you may normally get. Now what I'm going to do lastly is go ahead and curl my lashes, put a couple of coats of mascara on, and I'll be right back with you. Well, there we have it, everyone. A beautiful, intense eye look that still has enough softness to make it a very wearable look. Now, if you're a lady that wears glasses, keep in mind that making the under eye more intense is going to help your eyes really pop through your glasses. It's also going to help you ladies out there who possibly have some drooping or sagging under your eyes to really camouflage and hide that so that it is not as apparent. It just looks like that's the way you did your makeup. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and can join me again very soon. I look forward to seeing you all again. Thanks for watching.